In this video, we are going to discuss how to display your markets on your site. If your account includes Market Boost, please refer to our video promoting your Market Boost markets for instructions. If you have not already created a market, refer to our earlier video adding a market in the IDX control panel for a step by step on how to do so. Once you have created a market, it can be displayed in a few different ways on your site. You can add a listing gallery. This embeds the market page within the existing page or post. This is great for adding listings to pages or posts you've already created. You can add a property gallery widget and display thumbnails from a market page in a widget area or display links to market pages within the widget area. You can add a property gallery slider and display an attractive row or grid of listings that can advance automatically or manually, or you can link directly to a market page if you do not wish to use any of these options above. First, let's go over how to add a listing gallery. The easiest way to add any Optima Express shortcode to a page or post is to use the shortcode selector that's included within the plugin. It provides a list of all available shortcodes as well as fields with which to customize your shortcode. Instead of typing out parameters, you can input your selection and insert the shortcode into your page. The shortcode selector is available on all page or post editing screens as long as you are in the visual editing mode as opposed to editing the HTML directly in the text mode. Click the house icon that appears in the toolbar to open the shortcode selector. Then navigate to the type of shortcode you wish to add and select it. All available parameters will be displayed, allowing you to customize the shortcode. When finished, click the insert button and the shortcode will be added to your page. To edit shortcode for existing listing galleries, use any of the three parameters. Include map, true or false, display type, list or grid, and results per page, a numeric value. Next is adding a property gallery widget. The property gallery widget will display a gallery of one to 10 listings in a widget area or display a link to a market page. There are a few different types of galleries this widget can display. Featured property galleries, market galleries, dynamic search galleries, and a market link. To add the widget to your site, go to your WordPress administrator panel and navigate to appearance and then click on widgets. Then drag and drop the IDX property gallery widget into the widget area. You can then configure the widget by entering a title, selecting a gallery type, and customizing the settings accordingly. You may also choose the IDX pages on which the widget appears on by clicking the check boxes. After those steps, go ahead and save your changes. The gallery slider allows you to configure a customized sized dynamic gallery to display featured listings or properties from a market created in your control panel. You can define the number of rows or columns to display, the effect used when listings advance, and whether the slider auto or manually advances. If you do not specify a height and width, the slider will fit in the column provided and will also be responsive for mobile devices and present one row and one column. To add a slider that displays listings from a market, use the code displayed on the screen and replace market ID with the market ID found in your control panel. Lastly, let's go over creating menu links. Log into your WordPress dashboard, and from here, navigate to Appearance and then click on Menus. If you have not already created a menu, you will want to do so. Enter in a title under the menu name and then click Create Menu. Paste the URL your menu item should link to in the custom links section. Give the link a label and click add to menu. When finished, click save menu. If you visit your WordPress site, you will now see a link to the market page in your menu bar. If you are not using WordPress, refer to our video displaying markets in Optima IDX. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us at support at ihomefinder.com or visit support.ihomefinder.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.